Hey guys, it's Taylor, and every morning and every night, I stand by myself, sometimes clothed, sometimes not, with a piece of paper in my hand, and I read out a statement that I have written about my life that I absolutely love, and I probably look like a crazy, naked person doing it, but I don't care because affirmations have been the biggest, most transformative aspect of my life ever since I discovered them back in my early 20s. And this video is on how to write really, really successful, winning, awesome, spectacular affirmations, not just based on my experience, which is vast in attracting and bringing in, becoming a millionaire, traveling around the world and making $10,000 a month clear, doing it for a year, bringing in the love of my life who just left just now with the dog that we're dog sitting. Also some really cool accomplishments in health that I've been able to uh, achieve like bodybuilding and stuff like that, just to kind of push myself to the edge. But at the end of the day, this is not all just based on my experience. This is based on the experience of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of the most successful people in this country of the United States. Well, actually I'm filming this in Mexico, but you get what I mean, in the entire world. And how do I know that? Well, I know that because Decades and decades ago, a guy named Napoleon Hill met up with his mentor at the time, a guy named Andrew Carnegie, who just happened to be one of the top one or two most wealthy people on the face of the planet. And Andrew Carnegie said to Napoleon Hill, Napoleon, I want you to undertake a massive under undertaking. I want you to go out and interview hundreds of the most successful people all over the world and distill what it is that made them successful into a science that we can teach to other people to make them successful too. Napoleon was like, I'm in. So he spent years, decades of his life researching, studying, meeting, interviewing with these people, the most successful people on the planet Earth, and distilling how they thought, how they conducted themselves, what they did day to day to make them successful, and he put it into a science. And I'm not gonna say that you need to read the whole book of Think and Grow Rich, though I highly suggest that you do. That's the book that he wrote after interviewing all the people. I am going to give you the most important piece of that book, and that is how to write a clear, concise, successful affirmation statement. And that affirmation statement has five parts. That's what we're gonna go through in this video. And make sure to stay to the end because I'm gonna read off my affirmation statement from actually a couple of my affirmation statements that have already succeeded and worked really, really well so that you can model after them if you so choose, or you can just use the framework that I'm gonna go through right now. So writing a successful affirmation statement starts with one thing. That is being clear and concise on the exact amount of money or the exact weight or the exact love of your life or the exact whatever it is that you want to attract, being crystal clear on exactly what you want. For this video, I'm gonna talk through the lens of money because a lot of people use these affirmations to bring in money and it is the easiest thing to be crystal clear about because it's a number. Okay, so you have to be crystal clear on the exact amount of money that you intend to create. And number two is you have to be crystal clear on the date by which you intend to create it or the date that you wish to receive it. Okay, so number one is the crystal clear on the exact amount of money that you are going to be bringing into your life. Number two is crystal clear on the exact date by which you intend to receive it. Number three is what are you going to do to make that money? By the way, you don't have to know how you're gonna get all your clients or whatever it is. Let's say you're a coach. You don't have to know how you're gonna get your coaching clients, but you just have to know how you want to make that money. Good example is the first time I did one of these affirmation statements was 2005, entering into the year of 2006. I was a real estate agent, so I was crystal clear on the on the amount that I wanted to make, 500 grand, the date by which I wanted to receive it, which was December 31st of 2006. I was starting on January 1st. And I was clear on the way that I planned to make that money was helping people buy and sell houses. It can be that simple. I didn't need to know how I was gonna get all the clients, how much commissions I was gonna make, or all that jazz. I just needed to know how I was going to do it or have a somewhat of a plan. And number four is what you are going to give in return for the money. This one is incredibly important. So many people's affirmation statements are just all about them. They're just like, I'm gonna make this much money and that's gonna be really amazing and that's gonna be really awesome. But what you really need to bake in, says Andrew Carnegie, is what are you going to give to the community, to the universe, to the planet in return for the money that you are receiving. So back in 2005, when I was writing out this statement, the thing that I said I was going to give in return for it was 10% of my net income. I said, of my net income, I will give 10% to charity in return for the money that I am receiving. The cool thing about that is when you read your affirmation statement, you get that part like, and I'm giving 10% of my income to charity or to water projects or to build schools or libraries or whatever it might be, 
the feeling that you get from that is actually really, really incredible. It's a really cool hack that Andrew Carnegie put in there because you're putting the feeling of abundance, the feeling of more than enough into your statement and therefore you feel it every time you read it. So that was number four, what are you going to give in return for your money? And number five, probably the most important part of the entire affirmation statement is how you will feel once you have achieved your goal. How will you feel once you receive that $500,000? Using that example again, I said that I will feel accomplished, that my dad will be proud of me, that I'll be proud of myself. I'll feel fulfilled and excited and happy and grateful and euphoric. I wrote all these different words that the way that I would feel after making $500,000 as a 24 year old. So those are the five. I'm gonna go through them one more time. And if you're taking notes, this is when to write it down. And that said, in the description below, I'm going to put a template affirmation statement so that to start out with, you can just fill in the blanks with your exact amount, the exact date, you know, what you're gonna give in return for it, your plan for it, all that jazz, to make it super simple so that after this video, you might just take like five minutes and have your first affirmation statement if you don't have one yet, or maybe you just could approve upon the ones that you're already using. And if you like this information so far, I would love for you to click the like button. You could do that, that gets this aff affirmation stuff out to more people on YouTube so they can create the lives that they want regardless of what's happening outside in the crazy world right now. So please click the like button. I very, very much appreciate it. Now, moving on to how to do these affirmation statements. Remember I said in step number five, the, you know, the way that it would make you feel is the most important part. Well, that's the most important part of you reading the affirmation statement. Here's what I mean. When I get up in the morning, the first words out of my mouth, aside from maybe like, I love you to my girlfriend before I got out of bed, the first words out of my mouth are my affirmation statement. So I actually have mine right here. It's in this, I'm not gonna show it to you, but it's in this little book here. And I stand there, like I said, sometimes it's naked, sometimes I'm wearing boxers, sometimes I'm wearing a blanket, whatever. And I read this affirmation statement out. And as I'm reading it, I'm picturing myself in the future on the date that I have written down here. This affirmation statement that I have is three years in the future. And I'm picturing myself on December 31st, 2023, and I make all of this stuff happen. Actually, the first three words of my, vision, of my affirmation statement are, it all happened. It is December 31st, 2023. And, and it goes into what my focuses are over the next three years. I go over in this affirmation statement, I go over money, I go over my creative projects, I go over my relationship with my girlfriend, I talk about our future children, all in this one affirmation statement. The one that I'm gonna put in the description below is gonna be super simple, laser focused on one target outcome but you can put in more than one target outcome into your affirmation statement. So I stand there, basically the first words out of my mouth in the morning, I read this out loud and it's so important. I'm not really like, well, it all happened. It's December 31st, 2023 and we just blah, 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 blah. No, I'm looking at this thing and, and I don't even start it until I've taken a couple deep breaths and I start it. It all happened. It is December 31st, 2023 and I'm feeling it in my body. I'm feeling the feelings of already achieving the goal, the objective, the intention that I have. And I'm feeling it all the way throughout my body. I'm picturing it happening. I'm feeling it in my body. I'm imagining it as in as much detail as humanly possible. I'm looking around the room, but what I'm seeing is the faces of the people that I'm celebrating this achievement with, right? Because one of these things is business related. I have a company, I've got a couple of business partners and I'm seeing my business partner's face. I'm seeing them happy. When I get to the point in my affirmation statement where I'm talking about how much our clients love us, I'm seeing our clients like lit up and super happy and being super successful and my work impacting them in a really beautiful Beautiful, positive way. In this thing, I've got I've got peppered in there how I'm gonna feel. I feel euphoric, I feel grateful, I feel happy, I feel excited, I feel like I was challenged and I overcame it and it's all good and blah, 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 blah. So in there, the feeling is incredibly important and doing it first thing in the morning is incredibly important. Why? Because it sets the tone for the day. It continues to bring us back to what is important in our lives. What have we chosen to focus our life force energy on? And spoiler alert, the stuff that's happening out there in the world, I don't know if you've watched the news lately, if you have maybe watched less of it, uh, if you haven't, don't. I'll just tell you what it's like. Negative, negative, negative. Like there's crises all over the place. Everything's crazy. There's massively inflated numbers, by the way, of basically everything that's going on right now, but this is not a video for that. There is over the top fear mongering more than I've ever seen in my life. I remember since I was a young kid, the, the news always fear mongers. That's what it does, right? That's how they get you to watch. That's how they get ad revenue and people make money and blah, blah, blah. But right now it's crazy. 
and marketing when you go out there and this is very relevant you guys when you go out there to even buy a toothbrush or to buy a freaking computer or something like that the most effective way of marketing unfortunately is to make the potential consumer you make the potential consumer feel like they are not enough that they don't have enough that they are in a state of lack and only when they buy the product will they feel not in lack will they feel free and excited and happy and euphoric and blah 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 blah. that's how marketing works so the reason this is relevant is that the messaging that's happening out there on your television, a lot of social media, on billboards and whatever, newspaper ads and all that kind of stuff. The messaging that is there is that you don't have enough. They're trying to make you feel like you don't have enough so that you buy the product so that you can hopefully feel enough. So the messaging, the pervasive feeling and vibe in our culture is not enough. You're either gonna get programmed by what other people say and what billboards say and television says and blah, blah, blah says, or you're gonna program yourself. And that is why doing your affirmation statement first thing in the morning is so important because you're programming yourself, focusing on what you want, focusing on the feelings that you're cultivating, the feelings that you're feeling right now, and the feelings that you wanna feel throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the year, throughout the et cetera, et cetera, all the way until you hit your goal and beyond. That's why it's important to start with your affirmation statement. And I wanna take a second here and just note, I get it. Saying this thing in the morning with feeling, getting yourself up, especially if you're like a morning coffee drinker or something like that, can be hard. But the what I say to that and the laziness that comes up for people is this quote by a guy named Albert E. Gray. And it says, successful people have the habit of doing the things unsuccessful people don't like to do. They don't like doing them either necessarily, but their disliking is subordinated to the strength of their purpose. In essence, successful people make a habit of doing what unsuccessful people don't want to do. And it's not rocket science. Unsuccessful people do not want to get up in the morning and invigorate themselves with feeling and read out a statement, whether they're naked or not, wherever they are in their house, out loud with feeling. It's not something they wanna do. Unsuccessful people wanna stay in bed, they wanna be lazy, they wanna be lethargic, they wanna open social media first thing and get programming from the outside world before they've given themselves a second to get refocused on what they want in their life, that they are taking control of their life. Unsuccessful people give control to other people like the government who is drastically taking a shenanigans amount of control right now. Successful people take control over their own life, their own freedom, their own futures, and their own families. So that is why it's important to read this thing first thing in the morning. And the other time to read your affirmation every single day is the last words out of your mouth at night before you go to sleep. You have a powerhouse of a computer, a machine, a network, or something between your ears that is continuously working regardless of you being awake or asleep. That thing, your subconscious mind, needs to be led. It's not a good master, but it's an amazing servant. So you, as the master, are gonna program it to exactly what you want it to work on. And then when you're, in your, when you're sleeping, you might wake up at four in the morning with an amazing idea for making money or for doing whatever it is in your, in your affirmation statement, or you just might wake up in the morning super inspired because you know exactly what you're working on that day. So first thing in the morning, last thing at night. And a bonus time to read this affirmation is at any point during the day when you feel down, at any point during the day when you feel defeated or overwhelmed or stressed out or anything, I have found an affirmation statement to be a rock, a cornerstone, a foundation that I can come to over and over and over again, no matter what's happening in the world. I'm an empathic human, meaning I can't really go out into public for that long without feeling kind of overwhelmed and starting to feel some anxiety and needing some kind of recluse time, like some quiet time by myself. And what your affirmation statement can be is it can be that place of respite. It can be that place of grounding to bring you back to what you're focused on, regardless of all the stimuli that's happening in the outside world. So the first time to do it is your first words out of your mouth in the morning, maybe after you say I love you to whoever's in bed next to you, if you've chosen to sleep in the same bed as someone. And the second time is before you go to bed at night. So the last words out of your mouth before you go to sleep programming your subconscious mind, letting it do the work while you're asleep. And the bonus time is any time throughout the day that you are feeling down, overwhelmed, stressed, anxiety, it brings you back to ground as like what you're focused on, what's important to you, what you feel like you're meant to do in this life. And if you, the more that you can feel those feelings throughout the day, the better. So that's the bulk of it. What I wanna do right now is share with you an affirmation that I used that worked incredibly well uh, a few years ago. And that was all about traveling around the world. I wanted to make $10,000 a month. I had no idea how this was gonna happen. I wanted to make $10,000 clear a month. I wanted to have like $100,000 in the bank. I wanted to have like $250,000 invested 
And I didn't have any of those things, right? I did have a real estate company, which was doing great. And I decided, oh yeah, it was October, 2008. And I was like, I wanna travel. At the time I was totally overburdened with work. I had a bunch of employees. I had a real estate company. Everything was centered around me. My face was on the signs. It was called uh, Condo Conroy was my name in real estate. So everything was centered around me. I could not leave for a weekend without getting blown up by my assistant saying, so-and-so needs a house showing, or this needs to happen, or the floor pans didn't get ready, or whatever it was. I had this business that was all encompassed around me. And my dream at that time was to travel the world. I wanted to travel around to all over the world. I wanted to go to Antarctica for sure. I wanted to go throughout the Americas. I wanted to go to Europe, parts of Asia. I wanted to go all over the place for an entire year. And I wanted to work exactly zero days. And while doing that, I want, like I said, I wanted to make 10 grand a month. I wanted clear. I wanted to make 10 grand a month clear. I wanted to have money in the bank. I wanted to have money invested and all that kind of stuff. None of those things were in place, but I sat down, got really clear. That's what I want. I want to travel around the world for a year this is how much I want to make, et cetera, et cetera. I made this vision statement saying, I am traveling around the world for all of 2010. I'm making $10,000 clear every single month. I'm traveling with my dad. I'm traveling with my mom. I'm traveling with my sister and doing fun trips with each of them. I'm going to Antarctica. I'm meeting incredible people, having amazing experiences, and I'm continuously giving 10% of all of my income to charity. I feel elated. I feel free. I feel fulfilled. I feel explorative and adventurous and alive and spontaneous. I feel absolutely grateful for everything in my life as I travel around the world. And that vision statement started with, it is December 31st, 2009, and my bags are packed and I'm leaving on an adventure around the world for an entire year. So as you can hear in that affirmation statement or the inclusions of that affirmation statement, I said exactly what I wanted to do, travel around the world for a year, exactly how much I wanted to make, $10,000 clear per month, exactly when I wanted to do it. My bags were packed December 31st, 2009, traveling for all of 2010, exactly how I was gonna feel euphoric, grateful, happy, excited, explorative, adventurous, spontaneous, all of those things, and a little peppering in there of what I was gonna do to get me even more excited. Like I was gonna go to Antarctica, I was gonna go hang out with my sister and my mom and my dad, et cetera, et cetera. And you noticed in there what I was going to give in return for getting that money or getting that experience. So that's just one affirmation statement that I've used over the last, I guess, 16 years that I've been using them. I absolutely swear by them. It was an affirmation statement, don't tell girlfriend, but it was an affirmation statement that brought her into my life. I got really clear on what I wanted, how I wanted to feel, all the stuff. Read this affirmation statement when I was living on the island of Maui, was surfing one day, saw this total babe, and I was like, oh my God, I would lock that down if I had the chance. And I got the chance, and I did. Um, it's the same thing that, that brought in you know, $500,000 when I was uh, 24. It made me a millionaire by the time I was 26. You know, affirmation statements were involved and all of these things. It helped me with philanthropic activities. We built 150 homes for families living in some conditions throughout Latin America. Why? Because I had an affirmation statement being like, we've got a travel company. We're bringing hundreds of people around the world on transformative trips and we're building homes and hundreds of homes for families living in some conditions. And now looking back, I'm in Mexico right now as I film this, we've built 150 homes in this country alone. And I credit it all to being crystal clear on what I want writing it down in the format that Napoleon Hill got from interviewing hundreds of people all over the world. Thank goodness for Napoleon Hill and his book, Thinking Grow Rich. And that is what I wanna pass on to you. So like I said before, in the description, I'm gonna put in a template for you to use for your own affirmation statement. I hope you use them, I hope you love them, and make sure to remember that quote, successful people make a habit of doing what unsuccessful people don't wanna do. It is not fun to get up in the morning and do this thing first thing in the morning for the first 30 days or so. Then it gets actually really fun. Then it gets to be part of your day and really exciting and actually one of the highlights of your day or with my day anyways. And I hope all of that for you. I hope the most success for you. I hope the most freedom for you, the most thriving, abundant, incredible life for you, humanly possible, no matter what is happening in our world. The first step of taking freedom, choice, sovereignty into your own hands is being crystal clear on what you want to create in your life, not what's happening outside. So I wish you well. And if you haven't clicked the like button yet, please do so. Send a comment below just saying, you know, that when you're going to do your first affirmation statement, I'd love to hear that people are getting momentum from this. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification so I can send you more good news like this so you can take your life into your own hand regardless of what's happening in our crazy world. I'll see you in the next video.